It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got some Megan Thee Stallion, Flo Millie, and Lotto. It's called Sunday Service. And I feel like, as always, it's one of those videos that's going to get me in trouble. They be doing some things in these videos that I have to just go back to for science. Because, again, I'm a very strong believer in biology. And so studying of the anatomy is just a big part of my life. And inevitably, that gets me into some situations. So, <laughs> but let's dive in. I think Lotto is a dope artist. I, I think Megan Thee Stallion is extremely dope. I don't know that I'm familiar with Flo Millie, but I'm gonna find out today. Do you rap or do you tweet? Cause I can't tell, get in the booth, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the way this started right off the bat. Do you rap or do you tweet? A lot of people do the latter and they don't rap and they don't really do anything with their life. They just tweet. They talk a lot of shit. Tweet, tw Twitter has to be one of the most toxic social medias that has ever existed, and yet at the same time, it's my favorite. Don't breathe, don't breathe, don't breathe. Why this give me, oh. See, I'm all, why? Why we gotta do me like this? All right, does, does, does this not give anybody else San Andreas uh, vibes? Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I, I just feel like it gives me that kind of a feel to it, the beat. I'm really hurt. Fuck wrong with niggas. How you let them cheat and take them back? Must be your only nigga. I get loud just like my weed. I don't. we doing what are we doing <laughs> for science for, for science for science how you let them cheat and take them back must be your only nigga i get loud just like my weed i don't watch my tone with niggas i hang up the phone on niggas see my daddy bitch i'm big mom every time y'all built me with them hoes it's gonna be big drum 20 black survivors we pull up see now listen okay we got to go into our our biological math here you know so like the the form of the human body is just it's very very specific right and so you got one cheek here right and then one cheek here and it, it is a muscle and it can be utilized in many different ways and as you see her hand is in one of the greatest places that it can be and it's moving in the right direction and then you have the thighs right so you can see a little, little muscle here a little and, and so it, it all just kind of comes together to create you know beautiful things <laughs> i'm so done i'm so done i'm sorry i can't help myself every time y'all built me with them hoes it's gonna be big drum 20 black suburbans we pull up like sunday service i did oh. one on one on one don't know why she's so nervous fuck with the whole thing come on nigga say on purpose anyway she thought i was grown i ain't never watched my tone i would cry over these Damn. niggas but a bitch never alone because you checking niggas' phones. I hope that ain't your only nigga. He ain't never coming home. Oh, I'll take over your city. <laughs> bitch, you pussy. You a kitty. We pull up like Sunday service. Be the bitch and show no pity. I don't say R&B, but when I ride that dick, we playing Jodeci. Oh. oh, this is Flo Millie. I wasn't even sure. I didn't realize that it had... Sw okay, all right. So I'm, I'm not familiar with her. This is my first time seeing her. Oh, I'll take over your city. <laughs> bitch, you pussy. You a kitty. We pull up like Sunday service. Be the bitch and show no pity. I don't say R&B, but when I ride that did we playing Jodeci? Oh. A lot of ass, but I'm petite little chocolate. I'm his favorite tree. And my Haitian say I'm perfect. Try me, he gon' curse you. She be tough online, but sweet in person. What a other version. Killing hoes, they riding off in hearses. Why the fuck you let me meet your nigga if you know he thirsty? <laughs> Yo, I like that. Hold up, hold up. There's something that she said that I, I liked. A lot of ass, but I'm petite little chocolate. I'm his favorite I mean, I like tree. that. And but, my Haitian you know. say I'm perfect. Try me, he gon' curse you. She be tough online. What a other version. I like that. She'd be sweet online, but or no, she'd be tough online, but sweet in person. We're the other versions. That goes for so many people. You know how many times there has been stories or videos that drop of somebody that's just saying some of the wildest things online, whether it's like a fan of somebody or someone who's hating on someone for another artist or whatever, and then you meet them in person and suddenly it's like, oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, it's, it's so nice to meet you. And it's like, Where'd that energy go? Like, wh why why the energy change up? Not only that, sometimes you even see it online. The amount of times that I've seen people who have had crazy comments said under their YouTube videos or under their tweets or something like that, and then when the actual person 
who made the original tweet that you were talking all that shit to responds to you. I've even had it happen to me where you respond to the person and all of a sudden they're like, oh my God, I didn't know you were going to respond to me. Like, yo, I, I know I said that, but it, like, I do enjoy all of your shit though, bro. Like what you do is mad cool. Like, I like it. I think that you're dope. And it's like, why was the energy like that? Because you thought that I wouldn't see it and that I wouldn't respond to it. Then as soon as I do, suddenly you, you, you are biggest fan and you, you, oh man, I've been rocking with you for years and. I don't know why people are like that, but they are. Killing hoes, they riding off in hearses. Why the fuck you let me meet your nigga if you know he thirsty, stupid bitch? I say R&B, but bitch, I'm really hurt. Fuck wrong with niggas. How you let them cheat and take them back? Must be your only nigga. I get loud just like my weed. I don't watch my tone with niggas. I hang got the phone on niggas. You ain't my daddy, bitch, I'm pit mom. Every time y'all built me with them hoes, it's gonna be big drum. 20 black suburbans, we pull up like Sunday service. I just want a one-on-one, -on -one, don't know why she's so nervous. See, the placement of the hands is the placement where I feel like my hands should be. I'm pit mom. Every time y'all built me with them hoes, it's gonna be big drum. 20 black suburbans, we pull up like Sunday service. I was, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just taking it all in. I just want a one on one, don't know why she's so nervous. Fuck with these hoes saying, cause my niggas say I'm perfect anyway. <laughs> Y'all know who the fuck it is. The most loved, the most hated, the highest anticipated, <laughs> the one your nigga wish he dated. <laughs> Real hot girl shit. Hey, bitches must be trying to say the planet recycling all my old niggas. Trends you think you said and I had that shit on in my old bitches. Standing no business, he acting up and I'm a pivot. What the fuck? I look like tripping on one out of seven billion. I meet the goalposts when it's moving. They say I can't, then I do it. Your favorite rapper might not like me, but it's boo gon' jam my music. Blue checks, big influence, chain glow like hallelujah. I see you barking at me for attention. How I never throw the bone to you. Hold up now. Now, did this, I, I feel like, so this just came out three days ago, but I'm just curious when this was recorded. Was this recorded after Eminem dropped Houdini because obviously he has that shot in there about the feet thing and ever and, and people got really upset about it. I personally didn't get upset because to me, I'm like, listen, it's just lyrics. It's not the end of the world. If someone is trying to push people to go harass somebody, that's a completely different story. I'm not behind that. I'm a fan of Eminem. I'm a fan of Megan Thee Stallion. I would love to see them do a collaboration. It may not happen now because of that bar, but you know, I, I just didn't take it as seriously as some people took it. I can understand some people's anger but at the same time i feel like i'm not here to go to bat for other people in general but definitely not when i haven't seen them come out and say how upset they are about it like i'm not just going to jump the gun and assume that someone feels a type of way about something and feel like i need to go crazy for them when i haven't even heard what they think about it yet you know what i'm saying so to me i'm like it, it's not that serious type of shit but if this was recorded after that, which it may not have been because it hasn't been that long. And a lot of times these things get recorded way in advance and then it takes time for them to actually come out with the music video, all that kind of stuff. But it sounds like it could necessarily apply to that situation. I look like tripping on one out of seven billion. I meet the goalposts when it's moving. They say I can't, then I do it. Your favorite rapper might not like me, but it's boo gonna jam my music. Like your favorite rapper might not like me. A lot of people's favorite is M's. I don't know if that's a relation to that, that this is more of a general bar, but it fits that situation. The rest of what she says, though, got me curious. New checks, big influence, chain glow like hallelujah. I see you barking at me for attention. I never throw the bone to you. Hi, ass on Texas, niggas want to hold it. Play a face card, but you know I ain't falling patty. Make a whole man like Rolly. Diamonds get tested, we see who the code is. Bro, she got cheeks. Like, cheeks. Like, you can't just say she got cheeks. She got cheeks. That's wild. These bitches trying to be funny, they joking. Everything Megan put out, I own it. I don't care who you think hotter than me. Ain't a bitch step he, thing he was in my DMs begging, now he in my mentions hating. That's exactly why you bitch ass niggas get no conversation. So it's all gonna kill a snail, but won't do nothing to a player. All I did was make more niggas throw the coin to me like a wishing well. I don't say R&B, <laughs> but bitch, I'm really hurt. Fuck wrong with okay. niggas. How you let them cheat and take them back? Must be your only nigga. See, I do like how she owns up. To the fact that people try to get on her like, yo, you've been sleeping with mad people in the industry, da 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 this, that, and the third. And she's just like, yo, listen, it ain't doing nothing to a player. All that salt ain't doing shit to me. You know what I mean? In fact, y'all making more dudes throw they shot at me. So 
it is what it is. I respect that. I respect that. I don't watch my tone with niggas. I hang up the phone on niggas. Me and my daddy, bitch, I'm pit mom. Every time y'all built me with them hoes, it's gonna be big drum. 20 black suburbans, we pull up like Sunday service. I just want a one on one, don't know why she's so nervous. Fuck with these hoes, man, cause my niggas say I'm perfect. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's what I'm saying. Yo, this was dope. I enjoyed this. This is actually a, a they, they work together very well. Lotto did her thing. Megan Thee Stallion did her thing. Flo Millie, first time hearing her, she did her thing. They all bad. Let's just be honest. But as far as the music goes, they they killed this. They actually rocked out. I like this. This this is this this is a little bit of a vibe. They bopped. Um, let me know what you guys thought down below. I appreciate you guys. I'm I'm less. I'm I'm not. I'm trying to think of the words I want to say. I don't believe that this is a shot back at what M said. I think that this was definitely recorded prior to it. It just. Some of it felt like it could fit, but she's also been kind of taking some generic shots back at all the people that throw some shit at her. So there's a chance that that's just what it is. And it just it fits that perfectly because it's already what she's kind of been throwing back at people. So let me know what you guys thought down below. I think they killed it. Appreciate you. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.